All right, boys, we've got uh, Batch 43 Knife Test uh, Blade Composition Results, okay? So this is not a cutting test. This is not edge retention testing. This is where we take an XRF analyzer gun, or as you might want to call it, a PMI gun, and uh, we shoot the x-rays at the steel blade and it returns the actual elemental composition of the steel so that we can figure out what it is if it is as advertised so we've got 10 knives in today's batch and uh, as we go forward we'll do more knives uh and th this is kind of an interesting bunch of knives isn't it it's uh pretty crazy We've got Brother Knives. We've got the District 9 Hypo Center. I mean, check this out. Hypo Center knife. And I need to get this batch done because I need to get this back to the owner of this knife. Check this out. Look at how thick that pouch is that it came in. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what. They need to get you one like that because that there, that's a couple of bucks right there. What do we got, little drabs of uh, oil or something on it. Okay, so Harns, Cancept, QSP, Reptilian, Six Leaf, and Y Start. Okay, so that's uh, and Y Start there. When we can start here, let's start with the Brother Knives. And uh, that is supposed to be, and check it out, okay, the F001. Um, this is supposed to be 440 c steel okay this is the 01 check it out and i didn't put the uh i didn't put the sheaths out here because it's just don't have enough room but this is the f01 here and you can see um if this was 440 the chromium should be higher but it's not so uh, this one looks like 8CR14, and it's interesting because we have tested their 440 before on some of their folding slip joint knives, and it has turned out to be 8CR14 or 15, because it's halfway between 14 and 15, but uh, that's interesting uh, that, you know, they're high-end knives uh, with VG10, things like that. They test true, but the uh, 440 always comes out as like 8CR14, which is strange. And I don't think there's any intentional deception there because there's really very little, who cares, you know, uh, between 440 and 8CR14. It's just that, but it's just really strange. Okay, the next one, and there I, I, I've done a video on these, and most of the brother fixed blade knives are D2, okay, are claiming to be D2. And that one, ooh, she's, a, she's fit to be tied. She's got some heft to her. And is it real D2? And you're going to go, no, yes, it is. Their D2 is real D2. Their VG10 is real VG10. 440? It's just weird. It's just weird. I, I forgot. I need to send them uh, a message on that. I kept thinking I did. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll double check that. So yes, I mean, D2 is a 12% chromium product. And there it is. And your vanadium. Sometimes they'll run between 0.3 and up to 1%. So uh, yes. And you can see that the analyzer gun did... And it did you know indicate it's D2? So it's D2. Go figure. I mean, seriously, right? So let's check this out because this that costs some money. These district nine knives are interesting. This one's like steampunk gone, I don't know, outer space or Mad Max or something. Even got a hole here to like put a pin through there and really make it like a locking blade. And uh, I this says it's supposed to be M390. Oh man, that's a heavy dog. 
That is a crazy hit. But can you imagine front flipping this thing? Oh my God. No, 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 no. But thumb stud, okay, no problem. Woo. Here it comes. Uh, M390, yes it is. Pretty easy to see that. Look at your vanadium level. You know, your vanadium level otherwise would be under one, you know, for most non-super steels. Uh, otherwise, if it's like S35, S30V, S90V, S110, that kind of thing, your vanadium levels are going to be up here. And also the chromium on M390 is, you know, 19 to 20%. And so that reads out true. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, that's real M390. Now, we don't have Rockwells. And so we don't know, and we don't have history of how the heat treat's done, uh, you know, how the tempering's done. Are they wet grinding the uh, final grind, or is are they losing their tempering because they're overheating the blades, or any of that kind of information. This is just elemental. Is it really Bowler M390, you know, that kind of thing. Is it really D2 from an elemental standpoint? Okay, Harns. So we got the Harns harvest, and it looks like the wheat is golden and ready to be harvested. 14C28N, is it Sandvik Steel? I like that harvest. That's a pretty cool little, uh, little knife. And yes, and there it is. Um, uh, about 14.4% chromium, and then there's your other... Uh, molly, manganese, etc. Yes, it is. Next, I've got one that may be a bit controversial, but it was sent to me by a viewer. God, I can't remember now who sent it to me, but um, I've already sent it back. But here it is. This is a knockoff of the Grimsmo. And this is a Hilberg Knives Norseman. I call it a clone. They call it a Hilberg Norseman. But, and they can, they, they have a little card that comes with a knife that they check the box. Is it D2? Is it M390? Is it crew wear? Is it whatever? I don't know. I can't remember the choices. But this one said it was M390. Okay. And so, yes, I had it tested. And guess what? Yes. It is definitely M390. There's your 20% chromium. There's your vanadium, all that kind of stuff. So, yes, it lines up, and it's really M390. Next, um, oh, is, is my Cansep Main Street, which you can see right back here. And I like this one. I like the size of this one. This is the natural color of this handle. Isn't it strange? You'd think that it was like natural G10 and then uh, somebody like me just put it in some dye or something to make it more of a Caribbean uh, blue or something. But no, and uh, it's supposed to be 154 cm. And is it really 154 cm? Yes, it is. And here's your vanadium, chromium, iron, moly. And yes, it is. All right, uh, that test's true, and I wasn't really thinking that we'd be having problems with that, or really this one either. This is the QSP Legatus. This was a going gear special because the other one, the, the main one that came out originally had uh, titanium with a kind of a carbon fiber insert in here and on the back to, and all that and was really high end. But uh, this is Dutch Blade Works design, by the way. And I really like the design. I really like the knife. But it was just that the first Legatus that came out was almost $300. And I just, yikes. But see this one, 14C28N? So let's check it out. And yes, it is. And take a look at it. Chromium. Uh, Iron, moly, manganese, etc. So, yeah, this this lines up as correct. 14C28 and and all that's really cool. 
Uh, feel free to chime in if you have any observations about that and have your own opinion on these readings uh, because it's the actual XRF analyzer will not tell you the specifics on this because it's not set up. So it's not going to say 14C28N across here. Okay. It's just going to give you the elementals and this kind of stuff. It's not programmed to detect this specific material. D2 is the only thing where it will do that. Okay. And so talking about that. Uh, so you got to look at the elements, compare them to the chart, or be a metallurgist like the guy that did these readings is, and that he's got a metallurgy degree, okay? So, you know, I trust his uh, judgment there. Now, uh, this is the reptilian uh, thack, okay, which is a big old knife that's like a scale actuated here. And uh, got this from Knife Nuts Podcast, etc. But uh, D2 is supposedly... And, you know, this came from Russia. I'm not saying it was made in Russia. I'm just saying it came from Russia originally. The reptilian thack is a D2, yes. And as I was saying before, this particular analyzer will pick up on D2. Because it's in its programming. So you can see... It's an 11 and a half, 12 percent, you know, chromium type steel. There's your vanadium level, uh, etc. Okay, so yes, it's really D2. Next, uh, this is a six leaf knife, and and um, this is that rattlesnake design, which I think is Harvey Lynn, and I think I've reported on him before and he's done designs for two sun knives as well and then somebody called my attention to these that were on ebay and they were really inexpensive and i thought you know what my card uh this and that it may have been they, they may have been available some other place as well and i just thought this is really cool for no more than it costs which was maybe 30 35 dollars uh but they say D2, and is it really D2? And we're crowding things here. Uh, yes, it's real D2. And look at this. And does the analyzer gun say, yes, it is. And here's your levels. Like I said, 12% chromium level. There's your molly. Uh, and there's your vanadium, which is pretty high on this uh, for... Whether it really does it much good or not in the formation of carbides or grade refinement or something like that, I don't know when it comes to D2, but it's real D2. Now, let's get into the Y start. Uh, this is one, I mean, I have the one also that is the LK something, 5022S, is it? Or the 5023, 5022, I think. Um, and this is the version that's D2, which is way less expensive, and I got it from White Mountain Knives, okay? So this was way less expensive than the S35VN version, but I was interested, is that real D2? And that's because Why Start had like the Gen 01 or Gen 02, if you remember those back in the day, and they were, and Cedric and Ada did a cut test or something, it was like, it didn't have the performance of D2. It wasn't that good a performer. And I had it tested, and sure enough, it wasn't D2. It was more like 8CR. And so, uh, you know, I just thought, let's take another shot at this. And yes, this one is D2. And you can see right here, the analyzer gun, you know, picks it up as D2. The chromium level is definitely above 12%, isn't it? But the other elements come in, and you know, that chromium level can vary somewhat. But and vanadium is almost 1%, you know, it's up there. So, uh, interesting, huh? Okay. Now, last but certainly not least, we've got this one. And uh, this one is the LK4. 5021. Like I was saying, there was a 5022, 5023. I've just received a 5025 that 
that I'll be doing as well. So, uh, you know, it seems like LK50 something is, is very popular model numbers for them to name. And this is supposed to be 440C, okay? So 440C, I don't even know why I sent it in for testing. Who gives a rat's ass, right? It's 440C or 8CR, right? But of course, here it goes. Now, looks more like 5CR or 8CR. See what I'm saying? Could be 8CR14. That would be my best guess, but I don't have the, you know, this kind of tool does not do light elements, so it doesn't do carbon. So if I could see the carbon, I'd know better, but I can't see the carbon here. So I'm going to guess it's 8CR14, okay? And it could be 5CR15. I mean, it's possible because uh, it's just laying right there in between as far as the percentage of chromium, okay? So, I mean, uh, does it make any difference? I mean, 440 to 8CR14, a big, huge performance difference? I, I don't think so. So, I mean, you know, that the rest of all those numbers lie in, you know, how the heat treat is done and the tempering and all that kind of stuff. So, who knows? In any case, that's these knives here. Uh, interesting bunch. I thought maybe it'd be interesting for you guys as well. It's real mixed match of craziness. And let me back this up and put it sideways so you can take a screenshot of the actual result sheet just for your own records. And then I need to get all this stuff to uh, Blade Banner so he can put it in our spreadsheet. And guys, thanks so much for your time. I hope this is fun for you. Uh, I want to do more uh, testing on more knives because they just keep coming, don't they? And new brands, all kinds of things. So it's fun to keep up on that. It's interesting to look because you never know, you know, what you're really going to find. Uh, and we've really hit some out there that were like totally unexpected. Take care. Have a good one. You know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.